Hi there, Adam Ring here with another edition of Innovative Automation's Cool Gadgets. This week, we're going to be talking about some of the latest and greatest products from Yaskawa Motion. First, we've got a multi-axis motion controller called an MP2300SIEC. Down here, we've got two servo axes called the Sigma 5. And over here, we have two servo motors that are also from the Sigma 5 series. Down here is going to be some switches and lights that are wired into the inputs and outputs of each of the drives and the motion controller. Now let's get in for a closer look. So first let's take a look at the Sigma 5 motors. Yaskawa has redesigned their motors to reduce the overall package size by a minimum of 10%. So that way you can get more torque in a smaller space on your machine. We've also got standard 20-bit absolute encoders, so that means over a million counts per revolution comes standard on the motor, so you can get very, very high positioning capabilities out of these motors. Now if we take a look at the Sigma 5 amplifier, they've reduced the overall size of the amplifiers as well, so now we can fit more amplifiers in a smaller space, mount them closer together, We've also reduced the number of components that go in them so that makes the longevity of the life of the product much more likely to last even longer than they had in the past. And we've got a built-in safety contact so it allows you to minimize the number of components that you need in order to make your system safe. Then if we move up and we talk about the motion controller, we can offer this in either a 4, 8, or 16 axis version with one slot available for an expansion card. That can be, for example, what we have shown here, 16 inputs and 16 outputs. And the neat thing about this is we use the Mechatrolink 2 digital high-speed communication bus so that we have very minimal wiring from 1 to 16 axes of motion in your system. So it's just simply taking a cable and daisy chaining from your controller to each drive in your system. Also the way that the MP2300 SIEC programs has been developed and is very unique in that we use the IEC 61131 programming environment where we use international standard programming languages. The nice thing about that is that your programmers don't have to keep learning different languages based on the products that they're using. They simply learn at one time and they can reuse it over and over and over again. So now let's take a look at some of the motion that we can create. So for example we can do things like home our system where the motor makes a rotation, finds its index pulse, and then goes to a known position every single time. We can also do simple jog moves, one axis or multiple axes. We can do electronic gearing. So here we've got one motor turning two revolutions for every one revolution of this one. And we can change that on the fly. So now we've got three to one gearing and four to one and so forth. We can do a velocity move and we can also put the motor in torque mode so if you wanted to do a clamping application without crushing the product you're trying to clamp I'm limiting my torque here to about 10 percent of the motor so it spins at a limited speed but I can easily stop it with my finger whereas this one is just in a velocity move I can't stop it with my finger and then we can do just a series of point-to-point -point moves So we can give it a position, a velocity, and acceleration, and the motor will go wherever we tell it to go. So here we've taken a brief look at the latest and greatest products out from Yaskawa Motion, the MP2300SIEC, Sigma 5 amplifiers, and Sigma 5 motors. So that's all for this edition of Innovative Automation's Cool Gadgets.